Hey Aries, welcome to another WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. Alright, so sit back and relax and um, let's see what's going on for you. Um, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Information about my personal readings and everything else about this channel will be in the description box below. Also, the link to my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com, is also in the description box. All right, let's get this started. Aries, what do we have for you in love? What do we have for Aries in love? This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter in love. The Knight of Swords. Oh, the Queen of Swords. Wow, Hierophant. The World. The Two of Coins. The devil, hangman, um, the ace of swords, and the ten of coins. At the bottom of the deck, we have justice. It's decision time. Yeah, eight of coins. So, Aries, the way I see it, it's um, in this connection right now, it feels like it's decision time. It's decision time. You are no longer waiting for anybody. Um, you are no longer giving any form of leeway towards someone, especially to the person that you're dealing with. If they come correct, then you are open for communication. If they don't, I feel that you are ready to close out the cycle. One good thing here is that in this connection, I do feel that um, there was a time when both of you were trying to see how to balance things out here. And perhaps for, for the most of, you, most of you, you may even have that clear, concise communication with one another. Yeah, But apparently, after getting some clarity in, in that communication, you know, you, you've gotten everything you needed to know. And so did your person. Mm-hmm. And I feel that um, if you were in a um, commitment in the past, in so-called in a marriage or um, common law partner or however you call it in your country, but it's more like if you were in, in that sort of commitment to with one another, I do feel that um, things may have gone sour. Yeah, and with that, I do feel that your person has also learned their lesson, especially the way you deal with them right now. It's more of you were patient, you were decisive even, you were straight to the point, and you were very explicit to tell this person that you're willing to work things out. And you're even willing to give them some time to, you know, for them to take their time to get into some sort of clarity, um, into getting them to know what exactly do they want in life, what exactly do they want in your connection, yeah? Or what? where do they want this to go? And I feel that there was a communication between the two of you, a clear one. And possibly, you know, um, for you, Aries, I do see that there could have been some time when you really work things out here. It was very difficult for you to let go of this person. You may even have tried to open up yourself to other options to see if you can enjoy, you know, being with, with another individual apart from this person. But then again, like I said here, um, you were willing to um, talk things out, and I feel that you did. Yeah, you got your point across. Um, towards this someone and I feel that where it is at right now I mean the connection you believe that it is where it should be yeah nothing more needs to be said and done here I think you are now pretty much clear as to the ending of this um, connection as well as um, you are actually pretty ready to start a new phase you have decided that, hey, it's going to be a new phase right now. You, you are done with the uh, past. You are done dealing with with um, past entanglements, I feel. Yeah. You, you're done with it. With regards to this person, Aries, I feel that your conversation, the latest one that you had, or if not, you may even have one coming, 
yeah what another um, communication coming with this person I do feel that with that um, clarity or with that communication this person would get some more clarity as to where they fall short in in this connection or in this commitment and I feel that they would be getting some form of enlightenment you know as to the truth of the matter here the truth that this connection itself made them grow yeah as a human being as a, another being who connects with another individual um in a connection and i feel that even the um um belief or the belief system of this person with regards to a commitment may even have been enlightened through the experience that you've had together so i i see that um you giving this person some time and um you know back then he was pretty clever in that sense because you very well know that this person needed some time and i do see that um this individual right here is somehow willing yeah to um restore the commitment that you've had that you have together the w that's the way i see it yeah once they get that clarity this person will realize or if not they even have realized now that this is this connection right here is something that is worth having and um worth investing time money effort and energy because it it gives you long term stability it gives them long term stability and security so it's more of the clarity um out of that conversation after you have been very 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 patient towards this person the way i see it yeah but nevertheless this person needs to come correct because otherwise i feel that you are you're ready to push the button here aries that's the way i see it either they come correct or you you're starting a new phase yeah it feels like yeah you're wanting commitment and um you're wanting to see if this person wants the same thing if not then um you're making a decision yeah a very like an executive decision right here to go on your way with or without them mm -hmm. who is this person that you're dealing with yeah you're ready to take a new leap of faith somewhere else start a new direction if this doesn't work out it's not to say that you are closing um, yourself towards this connection because you don't. You're, you're still into this, but then you're wanting them to come correct. If not, you are pretty much done. Okay. Wow. The wandering path. Enjoy the journey. And I feel that this is what you are currently experiencing. That, you know, uh, relationships, commitments, especially if there is love here. Um, it doesn't have to be that complicated. Yeah, it doesn't have to be that complicated. And you very well know that. Mm -hmm. If they want it, they will want it. If not, then they don't want it. And um, you're ready to start something off here, a new one. For some, I think you would even be connecting with a new individual from a distance or um, a foreign land um, away from where you are currently um situated mm -hmm. their message towards you i'm still haunted by my actions that's something that they have to deal with not you <laughs> yeah that's something that they have to deal with especially if they know that there is stability here um they need to come correct because if they do i feel that this connection will have that um, really opportunity for a committed long lasting um, commitment yeah but you're just done done with this um, with the drama that um, the past cycle you've had together you're just done yeah you don't want to repeat that if ever you want to start something new here with this person it's going to be an overhaul yeah I'm more affected than you know okay fair enough but it's good to really for them for the cross watcher if you're if you're dealing with an aries and you feel like this is your reading it's good to let your intentions be known and um you know speak up 
it may be hard, but it gives you some form of um, clarity as to where you stand in this connection, and as well as you would know where this Aries person is, is um, heading on. But the way I see it, they're pretty much open, um, so long as you bring forth um, clarity, honesty, authenticity in this connection. Yeah, because they're ready to pull the trigger in terms of letting this connection go. If not, if if you're not um, coming back in with some truth, yeah. But this um, this Aries, Aries, I know that you're still thinking a lot about this person. But then you don't want to be stuck in a rut here. That's the way I see it. And I, I'm going to leave it at that. And I hope this gives you insights. And um, let me know how this resonates in the uh, comment section below. If not, do check out my other readings. Um, they may resonate. Check out the other um, signs in your chart. Also, um, if you like this reading, give me a thumbs up. And um, click on the uh, subscribe button in there and um, as well as in the um, the notification bell because I go live every now and then so it's good that you'll be notified whenever I go live or post new videos if you feel like my readings are um, you know helpful for you okay and also I invite you to join me every Mondays I do live readings for all signs here in my channel um, it's the uh, gypsy Monday night tarot at 7 30 p.m. Eastern time Okay, but if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.